Is the 240 leaking though? Oh shit! No drips. No drips on the ground. Let's go. I love how you can just see the inner cooler pipe piping. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I'm a nerd. Nerd! Yeah, I told you I don't know how to park this car. <laughs> I suck. And now we're at Christian's house. Honestly, getting out of this car is a pretty big struggle unless I take the steering wheel off. But if I want to leave it on, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Forgot to check. Underneath the car. Oh, yes. Still no leaks. The ground is dry. Thank you so much, 240. You can't be leaking on Sunday. You just whip out a California legal switchblade? You're wild, even though I'm the one who got that for you. Well, sold it to you. Yeah. Big reveal. Everyone has been asking me, sending me DMs, sending me Snapchats. What color is Seawill's new helmet gonna be? You can kind of see the the thumbnail, that's what I'll call that from here. <laughs> yeah. Nice bell bag. You aren't ready for this. <laughs> Come on, just flash the bag open. <laughs> Are you just gonna leave that in your car from now on? Just like in the passenger seat? Yeah. Always ready to go for, for the passenger. <laughs> for track days, bro. Oh my you're wild. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I can't just get a plain color. <laughs> Mine is gloss black AF. <laughs> we come to a clear lens or a smoke lens or a black lens. It looks clear. Okay. Yeah, it's clear. That's good though. Yeah, that's actually the same helmet. That's actually the same helmet as mine. We both have the Bell qualifier. I just have a medium. He has a large. Different color too. Yeah, it has like the the motocross style. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that's correct. You right? You right? How's it fit? Good. All right, cool. Yeah, because you tried on the medium and it was a little big, but not like, I mean, a little small, a little tight. So, hopefully that one fits nicely. Checking your. That's quite the mirror. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go sit. Go sit in my Sparko and I want to see if you can sit without hitting your head on the roof in my car. Because I do have a slider. These videos just turn into me following you with a camera, pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other side. But yeah, okay. That, that's, yeah. I can't sit, like, my neck is, like, slightly compressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's unfortunate. Well, that means you, if you get a 240, you can't have a slider. Oh, I probably wouldn't have one anyway. I don't have one in my car. I like sliders though. I don't like other people driving my cars. <laughs> or shorter than me. I'm shorter than you and I can well, still drive it. By a long shot. <laughs> I'm just scuffing my helmet during this. Yeah, who cares? It's gonna happen anyways. <laughs> my cheeks are like You know like when you go like for a really hard run or a really hard bike ride and your cheeks kind of get that feeling in them? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I think it's more like when you're like sort of kind of going to throw up. Uh, you no. Know? I don't know, maybe it's, maybe, I don't know. I That's what my cheeks feel like right now. <laughs> I think it's just you. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh. Jesus. Trying to slam the door, trying to crack my uncracked dash. Do you track day, bro? Track day, bro. Woo! 240 is ready. Only took me two years to get a track ready and fix all the leaks. Almost two years. Like 22 months. Wear this helmet until I can't even like realize I'm wearing a helmet. So it just <laughs> me. I can't even find the door. <laughs> I need to make my 241 color and it needs a fresh body kit. That's next on the list. Yeah, like... <laughs> Alright, dude, wait. <laughs> in the time that we've been sitting in this car, we we legitimately just set up a car meet. Like, <laughs> we were actually having a car meet now in a couple hours. The camera won't freaking focus. <sighs> yeah, so apparently now at 9 p.m. on June 1st, we are having a car meet. Are you excited? And then you gotta wake up at like 5.30 the next morning to go mountain biking. Yeah. You won't? I am. You won't? I paid for the ticket. <laughs> you won't? <laughs> Just go on Sunday instead. Mm -hmm. Let Matthew take your car out. No. Why? No. Okay. Alright, so we just filled up my S13 like to the top. Holy shit, that's the highest <laughs> I've ever seen it. <laughs> but the gate, like the, but the gas cluster is like not that accurate so i want to see how high it goes on a supposedly full tank a happy 240 but full belly good matoki so yeah apparently that's the highest my gas gauge will read just under three quarters of a tank so yeah i don't know how accurate it is it might so it might be the actual like the actual fuel pump assembly, like the, the lever that tells it, that gives it electronic signal on what to set it at. That might be bent, that could happen, or I don't know. I don't know what else could be the issue other than that. Moment of truth, back in my house. Do, do you fit with a roof up? That'll be cool if you do, cause you might, like you'll eventually get tired, I feel like, of driving with the top down when your arms get all roasted. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll throw the top back up. Uh. <laughs> You're like, you gotta like stretch out the roof. Yeah, but like, <laughs> it's not as noticeable when I hit the roof since it's a soft top. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I can see your hat and your keys moving on the roof every time you like move around. <laughs> you gonna go to the track day with that rack? Yeah. Cause it seems like you never take it off anymore. <laughs> Even though I you're going- like two days. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna try, let me try! I'm digging the large, like it has like a relaxed fit, but it doesn't feel like crazy loose. But it's a little loose for sure though. Medium is the proper size for me, I'd say. <laughs> I don't know how to judge my entry into You do probably fit, yeah, pretty nicely. I probably do. <laughs> if I look up, I like knock down the visor. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if you ever noticed. Hold on, I'm gonna take the helmet off. Just keep it rolling. I'm like looking at the helmet <laughs> to what? see what it looks like. What? I'm looking at the helmet to see what it looks like. Oh, did you ever notice that like when you lean back in your Sparco, there's like a lot of space there for if yeah. you wanted to put your head back? Yeah. It's for the helmet, bro. I know. So now we're finally getting the max. I wish all seats were like that though. Yeah, I Because I, like I just try to sit straight up. There's a car on that hill, I'm not going to zoom in because it'll take forever. Oh man. <laughs> what? But yeah, this is... Fits good. I feel like your helmet has like different padding than mine. It looks a little different. Let's go do that with your Miata. Now I gotta zoom out. Well, come on. No, man. let's not. Let's take... That's what the STI is for. My STI can handle it, your Miata can handle it. Alright, time to wash cars. You have all season tires, they can do it. Car wash party. Yeah, it looks like a mile from here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up guys? I never met you guys, but... <laughs> 
Dude, the amount of Miatas here is crazy. This is great. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to go get mine. God we damn need it. To go to the canyon drive. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We put this happened like this is awesome. This is my friend Matt's RB25. Not this Matt. Hey Matt. Hey. Nice shirt. <laughs> this is a different Matt. RB25 Kooky S14. Yeah, like we got a frat boy here. Um, so, uh, oh my god. <laughs> his, I thought it was an S2000 from Ford. <laughs> What's up guys? It is now the next day. I did a terrible job filming at my car meet. Like, did not even walk around with the camera except for like two little clips. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So today is now actually Saturday, which means tomorrow is autocross day. My 240 is so, the hatch is so practical, honestly. Like look at all this storage space, especially when you're stripped interior. Like way more storage space than any of my other cars, which is kind of funny. Yeah, so I've just been doing like final checks over the car, making sure like everything is good. So hopefully I have no problems tomorrow. And then I'm just getting my tools ready and just extra fluids to bring to autocross so if I run into any issues hopefully I'll be able to solve them of course we got some tape and zip ties are the essentials to owning a 240SX then just gloves, bolts, various tools of course wood, ramps so I can jack up my car if I need to then yeah that pretty much covers everything else I know C. Will is also bringing his own set of tools so if I need something that I don't have he will probably have it so I can just borrow it from him and vice versa and then, yeah, like I said in the last video, I am running new radiator hoses, uh, distilled water with water wetter. I actually took my car out to the canyons last night after my meet, and my temps were actually noticeably cooler. Like, at least like a whole line on the stock OEM coolant gauge cluster. Like, one line lower the entire drive compared to what it was before the water wetter. So, I don't know if that's the only thing that fixed it, adding the water wetter. Or there might just be more water in the system now because I did a better job bleeding it. But yeah, so I'm happy about that. Uh, no issues with the car so far. My power steering is still not leaking. I think you guys have seen me check it a bunch of times. Yesterday alone, I probably checked underneath my car at least 12 times. People started to laugh at me because of how often I was checking it. Like every time I'd turn off the engine and get out of the car, I would look underneath to make sure nothing was leaking. And so far, so good. So just final little things, I'm just making sure I need to empty out the interior so stuff's not flying around. Yeah, hi ho, here I go, like a beer I flow, I steer my boat. Yes sir, on the track I flow, cut slack like rope, drop bars like soap, in the car I toke, cigars and dope, stay fly like a birdie under par one stroke. Yeah, you won't get it till tomorrow, stuck on point like a dart throw, post it, see me on the wall like an art show talking about Easily fits everything in the hatch. It has taken me two years to get to this point where my 240 is not only fast but handles well but most importantly it does not leak. I wonder how long that's gonna last because I'm sure something will start leaking sooner than later but a lot of I'm gonna I plan to do a lot of preventative maintenance on my SR uh, replace some of the seals and accessory belts to avoid some of that headache because I really don't like leaking 240s. I want to be the one guy who doesn't have a leaking 240 that shows up to a track day. Oh man, so everything's packed up. As far as I know, the car is good to go and isn't on the verge of blowing up. <laughs> anyway guys, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I know autocross is like not that big of a deal, but it's my first real event with this car. Um, so yeah, I'm excited and that's kind of what is most important, at least I think. So I will see you guys in the next video, probably tomorrow with an autocross video. Uh, I'm gonna be setting up the GoPro, have a bunch of different camera angles. See, we'll, we'll be filming too. He'll be driving as well, so I'll have footage of his car too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, I'll see you tomorrow. Mirror, mirror on the wall, on the wall. Who's gonna really be the first of all? Uh